Hello guys, today uh, I'm gonna keep doing the videos about the how to pair uh, an external scan engine to the console. The first video we talk about network troubleshoot and today I'm gonna talk about consoles.xml. So I will just try to add the scan engine. So I have a new engine, I'm gonna Paste the address, give a name, and save. Okay, so by the full, we can see here that we have a red arrow, uh, and uh, the red arrow means not paired or some communication issues. Okay, uh, on the documentation, we state we have the documentation open in here. We state on modifyconsoles.xml that you have to go to the path uh, and uh, change the consoles.xml on the option enable from zero to one. So I had already, you know, uh, the consoles.xml in here and you can see that it's zero. So let's do the changes and see what's gonna happen. And for that, I'm gonna delete also that scan engine to do a fresh. Again, I didn't need, but I want you know to to show you guys from the scratch. Uh, as we can see here, the certificate has been sent, probably approved, but it was working because wasn't enabled so we're just gonna enable uh, I did realize the scan ID changes uh, pretty much all the time the console ID changes pretty much all the time that I'm doing uh, a test so how I don't edit my videos I've been you know playing around for the past one hour with that just to see all the behaviors and try to replicate on the video once I don't edit to this. <clears throat> so after changing, I will just double check. So I have here enabled. I should have connections connection one as well. And I'm gonna save. Again, if let me just save after save, I have to restart the service. So while I restart the service, I did notice that if I try to, to just add the scan engine now, it will throw me an error. And uh, I actually didn't know why it was, you know, give, uh, give me an error. So I start to tell you the, this is the NS, NSE log and uh, so what happened, it's pretty much the scan engine is still restarting, it's still loading, and uh, it was the reason that I was throwing me an error. So yes, you have to, to wait a bit until the scan engine be 100% be, uh, working, ready to go, you know? So while we wait that, I can go to the consoles. Again, we can see that in here, if I need, everything here I can change. So for example, let's pretend that you guys have uh, created a new, new console, uh, restore the backup, but you have changed your IP or you changed the IP address on the, on the console itself. You know, one of those two possibilities. You don't need to pair again your scan engine. You would just need to change here the IP. The certificate that would be showing here would be a valid one and that's it. This would do the job. We can also change the port. This is the default one. You could change for anything that you you want. So uh, again, seems that it's compliant because it's giving me an error because it's trying to communicate to the console and uh, you get an error. Okay, so let's try. Uh, so new engine. <clears throat> uh, 
and uh, now as you can see we get a green arrow and uh, we don't get more of those arrows in here that was pretty much you know they scan agent try to communicate to the console and uh, get an arrow and also if i go back in here and i cut the consoles.xml again i can see the certificate has been added so my scan engine is ready to go and uh, everything is stated on our documentation right the service documentation but i know sometimes you know you are in rush you're not familiar with the product and uh you just you know keep attention on the ports but yeah there are more things that sometimes it's interesting to read and that's the reason that i'm doing the those videos for uh you know help you guys understand the documentation a bit better uh, i suppose to do every weekend but sometimes i have no time so i want to show something else uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open the console let me just delete again this scan engine okay gone there is another way to pair the scan engine and i would like to show that so i'll delete the certificate and uh i okay let's do from everything from this scratch so something that i need to state is all the options in here enabled and connect to needs to be one so i mean just replicate an error again so save a con save let's close let me cut okay it's reflecting let me just restart the scan engine and we can here i'm telling the nse log so let me just give you a control c so again this is the the path the path depends this is the, the full one but you you might have changed on your company but once you find the installation path the rest will be the same so tail nse log nse.log so it's restarting okay beautiful so there are another way to add the scan engine without to click on this button and uh, sometimes it's uh, useful i actually i use more than the example i did show to you guys so we have this shared secret so i can you i don't know if you guys are familiar with the installation process so when you are installing sometimes it asks oh send me the shared secret and uh, you send and it automatically pairs to your console so it's pretty much what you're gonna do i am not gonna uninstall this scan engine i'm just gonna explain what happened behind the scenes so i have this let me co copy again i go to the console's xml uh, it's pretty much restarting but what i'm gonna do is i will change to enable and if you see you have this option here plain text underscore shared shared secret and i'm gonna paste the shared secret there and i'm gonna save obviously making sure the option enabled it's equals to one so save okay and all the time that i added to this archive i have to restart the the service itself so i'm restarting the service and uh, let's wait it takes around one two minutes i am not gonna do anything in here This would be the good moment that you could, you know, just I could stop to record, edit, 
and uh, come back but i don't i don't have you know i don't add to those videos so i would suggest you to skip few more few minutes ahead and you would see what next Okay, so seems that it's already back and uh, I'd say it's already attempted to communicate. We can see here connection established. So if I come back to my console and I just reflect, refresh displayed engines, we can see that the scan engine, it's already added the connection status is engine to console and I have like a weird name. And I would guess that this name is the serial number of the scan engine. We could even uh, double check, but again, it's not relevant. So at this moment, it's already paired. You know, it's just engine to console, not console to engine. So what I would need to do pretty much is change the name and change the port. Save. Again, it's paired, it's working, and uh, we have the green arrow. So I have showed you guys two ways to pair the scan engine, editing the consoles.xml that Sometimes uh, I deal with people every day regarding this product and sometimes you, you guys don't know or, you know, just skip. So hope it will help you guys and uh, thanks so much for everything. Bye bye.